back around 1962 or 63 when I was about 10 years old, my dad came home from a business trip and brought me a book from American Radio Relay League called How to Become a Radio Amateur. And one of the articles in the book really caught my eye and I wanted to make this transmitter that was described in the article. And I liked uh, the way it looked. And it's a very complete article how to make it, complete with uh, drill, uh, the uh, panel drilling templates and layout diagrams, very very extensive, even the front and back panels of the chassis. And uh, so I wanted to make it, but I was a little too young to do a good job. So I waited and uh, I finally built mine in 1987. So here's my finished transmitter. Uh, I'm using the triplet meter, which wasn't cheap, even in 1987. And uh, it looks like the one in the article and works uh, just as well, uh, or just as described. And here's the back side showing the antenna connections here. Power supply, the telegraph key. And you can see the... Um, 6DQ6 transmitting tube, oscillator tube back there, and the tuning controls and so forth. All built uh, just as described in the article. And I also built a companion power supply that uh, was also described, but uh, mine is a little bit different because of the parts that I had available but it performs almost exactly uh, the way the one in the article <clears throat> was designed to perform. I've got my transmitter set up now and let me just swing over and show there's the power supply and I have the dummy load set up right there. Let's turn it on and uh, tune it up. Take a few seconds to warm up. First I need to apply the B plus, so I'll flip the switch to the on the power supply to the transmit position. And we come back and we'll start with uh, dipping the plate. Okay, it's around 50 milliamps, and I think you can see the light bulb just lit up. So now let's uh, turn the antenna loading up. Dip again. There's about 90 milliamps, and the RF indicator light right there is uh, lighting up now. And there's the 100 milliamps, which is uh, described in the article. And I've still got a pretty nice dip there. Let's see if we can go just a little bit more. Okay, it's tuning up pretty good. it up again and in the next clip show uh, how it sounds uh, over the air.